Hey guys, this is Sina from Cashew. I will show you how to animate this background using simple techniques. This type of background is very common for explainer videos, so you'll find this tutorial helpful if you are a beginner. I encourage you to try to animate this yourself, but if you need help, you can download my project files. Remember that practice makes perfect. We have a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Hey guys, so today we are going to be creating this background in After Effects. We are going to be animating every element separately and I'm going to show you some cool techniques. So even if you're a beginner, stick around, it's going to be very cool. Okay, let's get started. I already have all the files imported into my After Effects. So as you can see, I have already renamed all my layers and I have also separated all the layers that I'll be animating. So remember, everything that you're going to be animating needs to be on a separate layer. Okay, let's start with locking the background. So I have this background and I'm going to lock it. Then I'm going to lock the line as well because I don't want it to mess around with my composition. And now we're going to, to do some pre-compositions as always. So let me first select all the layers uh, of the flower and I'm going to pre-compose that and name it flower. And then I'm going to lock it and I'm going to do the same thing with the other layers. Let's just do that with the cabinet first. Uh, then with the other cabinet, let's lock it. Then um, let's do the sofa. I'm gonna remove these pictures, um, lock it. Then the piano, again, lock it. And I'll just leave these three pictures there. You don't have to pre-compose them. You can do that if you want to, but yeah, I, I won't do it. First, let's move the anchor point. I have the anchor point mover. That's a free plugin, so you can download it if you want to. It's uh, it's really handy. So I just moved all the anchor points and now I'm going to click R, I'm going to start with rotation, scale, uh, and I'm going to easy ease these keyframes. Let me zoom in. Now I'm going to go right before the first second mark and I'm going to add one more keyframe for the scale. And at the start, I'll, I'll make the keyframes zero. For the rotation, I am again going to easy ease them. I'm going to move them a bit here. And then at this time, I would make the rotation start at minus 16. And at the start, it should be plus 40. So this is how it looks. And again, we will need to make some adjustments to the timing because it doesn't look right. And I'm going to add one more keyframe here in the middle uh, where I'm going to make them rotate again. That will be eight. And one more here, that will be minus six. So yeah, and let me bring these here and let me play that. Okay. Uh, actually, I need to adjust these as well. Bear with me, guys. I am fixing the timing as I'm doing the tutorial. So uh, yeah, so let's offset these now. And I think we are ready with these frames. Um, next, let's animate the sofa. First, I'm going to change the anchor point again let me zoom in and now i'm going to parent the pillows to the sofa and now i'm going to animate this position scale and rotation i'm gonna click u so i can see all my keyframes and i'm gonna easy ease them by clicking f9 let me zoom in that will be my final keyframe but then at the start i'm going to adjust the scale a bit like this and the position and now in the middle, I want it to go up before it goes down. And again, let me adjust the scale. And now I want to add one more keyframe right here. So copy and paste the last two keyframes and adjust the scale again. Change the rotation. And here it should be zero. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to move these two keyframes and these. Okay. And then again, okay, okay. This one looks way better. And now let's animate the pillows. Change the anchor point again, and uh, we'll need to adjust them a bit. Yes, uh, let's animate the position. Right around this time, I want them to go up as the sofa goes up. And now here, uh, I want them to be here, yes. And then here, I want them to go down a bit like this. Okay, awesome, this looks good. Let's offset these a bit, great, okay. So now that we have the animation, we are going to be creating a mask. And let's offset this whole composition. Okay, great. Now let's animate this cabinet over here. 
I'm going to isolate just the base. Uh, so that's the like the wooden cabinet. And then um, I'm going to animate the scale and change the anchor point again. Don't forget to change the anchor point. So at this time, make it go up, like just make it scale up. And then this time, make it start at zero. Like the scale should start at zero. So I'm going to use the keyframe Wigman here, uh, just for the sake of time. Next, I'm going to create a shape layer um, from this layer because I'm, I wanna make some adjustments to the pad. So uh, the easiest way to do it is just to type pad here and then start adding keyframes for all the pad options that you see here. Okay, add these keyframes and then click U so you can see all the keyframes that you have added. And now let's easy ease these. And then right here, just click on the stopwatch again because um, we want to lock this position. And now let's start making some adjustments. So here I would like to bring these shelves up. So that'll create a, like a smoother motion of this cabinet. So yeah, let me bring this down and this down a bit and this down a bit. So yeah, so I'm essentially creating um, one more movement. And now I'm going to select all the keyframes and I'm gonna uh, use the, the keyframe movement again. Okay, and so for the books, I'm going to use an effect from the Animation Composer tree. It's a free plugin that you can download. I will use this one. I'm gonna select on one book and then I'm going to, going to click here. I'm going to move this marker a bit. And now I'm going to copy this effect. I'm going to select all the books. Actually, let me delete this. I'm going to select all the books and the box. And I'm going to paste this effect. And I want to move them all here because I want them to start appearing when the cabinet appears. Uh, and let me move the anchor point of all the books. Okay. I want to offset all the books now and typically I have to manually do it and this takes forever. So I'm going to use a very cool plugin that's called Shifter. So uh, just open window uh, and, and it's a free plugin that you can download. I actually have a carousel on that on my Instagram. You can check it out if you want to. But yes, so I'm opening Shifter. I'm selecting all the layers and I'm clicking on this icon here and then stagger. Then, as you can see, it took like a couple of seconds to do that instead of manually doing it for hours. So I'm happy with my animation so far. So I want to animate the, the box now. Let me change the anchor point. Again, I'm adding keyframes for the position, scale and rotation, and I'm going to bring them up here. Um, now I want it to start, like I'm changing the position. I will start here, I'll add the other keyframes, and then I'm going to move this keyframe a bit I'm going to copy and paste the last keyframes and I'm going to make some adjustments. I'm going to make it rotate a bit. Yeah, like this. And then around this time, I'm going to make it rotate the other way around. Let me offset these rotation keyframes and I'm going to add one more right here. Okay, awesome, let me cut this layer. Okay, great. Perfect, I think we are ready with this animation. Yeah, so this element is good as well. Good to go. This is how the whole thing looks. And now let's animate the flower. First, I'm going to do some parenting. The leaves would be parented to the branches and the, branche the branches would be parented to the pot, okay? Now I'm going to change the anchor point of all these leaves because, uh, and the branches as well because I'm going to be animating all of them separately like this. Yes. And okay, perfect. So let's animate the pot. I'm adding a keyframe for the position and the rotation, and I'm going to select all the other keyframes. I'm going to add a rotation keyframe to them. Let me easy ease them. Oh, and by the way, I have a rotation keyframe for the pot as well. Uh, let me bring it up here. Okay, great. Um, okay, great. So now I'm wanting to start here. Let me, let me see. Okay, I think it looks, uh, yeah, I think the position is just fine. For now, uh, we might need to adjust it later. Yes, okay, so it will be kind of sliding. And let's add some rotation keyframes. So we, we have this 
follow true motion and we'll need to adjust the timing. Okay, I'm selecting all the rotation keyframes that I have here and I'll start adding keyframes. So here at the start, let me actually rotate the pot a bit more. Okay, great. This one, this looks way better. So now at the start, let's start rotating these branches and the leaves so we can have a smooth motion. Um, yeah, I needed to adjust the anchor point of this one. And I'm going to just speed this up, but essentially you can just play around with rotation keyframes so that we can see this nice bend of the whole uh, tree um, and it doesn't look so static. So yeah, I'm changing rotation again and again and again. And I will adjust the timing again. And let's offset these. I have just a few um, layers here, so I'm I'm not going to use shifter here. Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks. Awesome. Perfect. Let's go back and see how that looks. And I want the flower to appear after the animation of the, the cabin is over. So yeah. But as you can see, it starts right here. So let's mask that. Alrighty. Okay, awesome. I think you, know, you can also create some cool motion lines here, but I am not going to do this now. Now let's animate this little cabinet over here. We are going to be using a very simple animation here. I won't be something uh, crazy. So let's add keyframes for the position and let's make it start here and then here in the middle make it go up like this and i want to change the position of all these three elements that are on top of it like okay and let's offset that and it doesn't look so good so i'll just need to adjust the bow okay let me offset that i need to play a bit more with this ball that we have here uh, okay, let me bring it down. Okay. Okay, that's cool. And let's mask this element as well. Okay, great. Looks good so far. And let's move this one here. Okay, let me see the whole thing. For the sofa, let me change these keyframes and the timing of these two a bit more like this and so okay yeah this one looks better so now let's animate the piano first let's select all the boxes and the book that's on top of it and the other book yeah so let me bring this up here I'm gonna hide it and okay so because I want to animate the piano first so uh, let me select that change the anchor point and animate the scale the position and rotation and again using the exact same technique I am going to animate it go up actually yeah let me change this uh, the clock should be behind the, the piano so I'm adding keyframes for the position it will start with rotation and then let me copy and paste the last keyframes and I'm going to change the rotation and the scale and then here in the middle I'm gonna make it rotate the other way around and so this is how it looks but I don't really like the scale so I'm gonna delete it and let's offset these keyframes okay there's this little bounce effect that I really like, so I'm gonna keep it. And then for the clock, I'm just going to add the same effect that I used for the books in the cabinet scene. Uh, now for this book, let me actually create something different. I'm going to create two layers. Uh, first, I'm going to mask one of them like this, and I'm gonna change the anchor point to be in the middle, like the middle of the whole book. And now I'm going to animate the scale, and I'm going to change this to zero, and then the, the second one should be 100. Um, and now, uh, make it 
a hundred and something like 110 maybe and then I'm going to use the 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 keyframe wigman again okay so this is how it looks and now I'm just going to duplicate it and I'm gonna invert the mask uh, there's a little gap so let me move this layer to the left a bit I'm gonna cut it and offset it a bit okay this is how it looks this offset a bit too much okay great okay so our book is ready and now let me select all these other layers and again I am going to animate the position and rotation and I'm gonna change their their anchor points and easy ease them and then make them start here copy and paste the, the last position keyframes here in the middle make them rotate again and move these so move the rotation keyframes a bit like this okay okay and cut them and offset them like just randomly just because we want to have some cool motion tup, 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 tup. okay and I'll, I'm just gonna make the piano animation start here you can download my project files in the description as always and if you like this video make sure you like comment and share thank you so much for your time and I'm gonna see you next week